Hey guys, this is Tom with Ink Journal, and uh, this is Sophia, Little Ink Journal. Mm -hmm. She's. Uh, we're both here today to do a uh, uh, ink mixing video, a little ink mix with us or what have you. So this might be like a little series of installments based upon <laughs> if we like to do and, and, and seeing about all the different colors we can make and uh, seeing if you guys like this sort of thing. So um, what we have out here today is actually the contents of August's Ink Flight Box, which we put together a set of uh, nine samples of Platinum Mix-Free Inks, and then also would be a sample of the uh, Mix-Free Ink Solvent, or what they also call the um, uh, Dilution Solution. And also we have the Ink Miser Ink Box, um, I'm sorry, Ink Shot Well. So this is an Ink Shot Ink Well. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put these colors today. We're going to make a couple of colors, right? Yeah. So I got a couple of two empty test tubes that we're going to use to collect the ink samples that we make. And we're going to use the ink shot to mix them in. So we're going to only make two, right? Right. We're going to make two for right now. And then we're going to test them out and put them on some uh, Tomoe River paper to, to try them out here. And that way we can see like what color that we made here. So you like color, right? Yeah. I love color. I it's love it's color. like it's like when you think about what you want to wear for the day, when you think about like the different cereals that you like, um, you know, just color or yeah. or the different car that you even want to drive. Like color is like one of the first things that you think of. Cuz like everything in probably your house has got color on. Yeah, everything's got color, and we surround ourselves with color, and color makes us feel awesome or feel different things, you know? like Color makes the earth look beautiful. Oh, that's perfect. So and we wanted to do so with dark, very dark purple, aubergine-type color, and uh, see if we could get it to maybe just really get nice and saturated and get uh, some maybe a little bit of sheen out of it, which would be really cool. So uh, we're going to take, first thing we'll do is we'll take out our ink shot. So the ink shot, Sophia, you could actually use to um, get the last of the ink that's in your ink bottle and put it in this so it makes it easier for you to fill your fountain pen. But what we're doing it for this purpose, we're actually just mixing uh, ink colors together. So it comes with this little yeah. free stand right here. Um, it, it just has like a very nice solid plastic base to it. It's a plastic cone. And it also comes with a little transfer pipette too. Is that what's here? That's what's also here too. And we included a second one because we wanted to at least do two different colors without having to wash out the initial... That one looks like it's a little bent. Um, it's, it is because it's, it has to be bent inside the box. But once we straighten it out, it works perfectly fine. So we'll take these out. So. In order to make a dark purple, where do we need to start? This is some basic like color theory right here. Mm. Do we do we start with a brown? Do we start with a with a uh, with a let's say a yellow? What makes what makes purple? What two colors make purple? Um. You got it, it's blue and red. So we have a couple of options in terms of blue and red. And so we have, a, there's a cyclamen pink, just a little bit on the rosier side. You have a flame one. red. I would do flame red. And originally actually, this actually comes with the nine samples, but we had sold out completely of the silky purple, which actually so, would have been perfect for this per uh, for this instance because we're trying to make a purple, so it kind of helps it already start with one. But so we're going to make it traditionally by doing mixing colors together. So we're going to do a flame red, and I guess we'll do a dark blue. So this aurora blue is a, is a very lovely dark blue, and that's that's I think what we'll do to kind of get started. And we'll kind of, I think we may mix some of this smoke black yeah. because the smoke black will make it tint, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll uh, shade it a little bit and more. And it will like, like, um, like, like white makes it lighter and black makes, makes it, it darker. Makes it darker, yeah. So it's a white, you know, if you're adding white or if you're adding this, this mix uh, solvent to it, it's going to make it a lighter color. Whereas if you're going to add the black, 
it's going to shade it to make it a darker color. So I think that's where we'll, we'll start at. And we have a paper towel here just to kind of, you know, make things a little bit more gonna cleaner. Need it. Yeah. Really gonna need it. If you do this very cleanly, you might be able to get without it, but yeah, we're... Some, but sometimes it's good to have a paper towel because, you know, if you have, like, carpet floors by that, you would, like, freak out probably. So... It wouldn't be... It wouldn't it be fun. It wouldn't be fun. No, mm -hmm. not at not all. A fun, not a fun cleanup. You get it all over your nice shirt. So, now, now comes the ratio. So I'm thinking because... The Aurora Blue is already a dark color, so I think we could start with that as our base, because Aurora Blue is dark, so if we maybe go heavy on the Aurora Blue, and then just put maybe like, let's say, let's say do three parts Aurora Blue, two parts of the Flame Red, just to kind of start out, because we want it very dark, but we also want it to turn purple, so we need to have a significant amount of red in with the blue. Because if you have too much dark color and you want to make it lighter, it's not going to work. So we're going to use the the transfer pipette, and we're just going to we're going to squeeze before we get our the tip of it into the ink, and we're going to let it go. And we got a lot in here. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. There's a lot of ink in there. So. Uh, I mean, like, I guess we'll do drops. We'll do drops here. Do, let's say, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do, we did six, right? Mm -hmm. We'll put the rest in there for right now. So if we're doing three to two, we did six, so then we'll do four of the red. We'll put this right here. And I think this is where the paper towel comes in handy, is that we'll just leave the the uh, yep. the pipette there. Then we'll take our flame red. Use this one here. Same deal. I'll I'll press the the bulb on it before I put the tip into the ink. And I'll let go very gently. And we'll do four drops. One. Two. Three. Four. Why does it look that purple? It seems like it's a very little bit of ink in there, but it's just for testing. So let's let's uh, take. Uh, wait, do we still have to do the smoke black? Let's see what this comes out first, and but then if it's we'll. If too dark, then we don't have to add it. Yeah, we'll we'll see we'll see what this what this comes up with first and. Uh, maybe just stir it around a little bit. And this is really cool because these mix-free inks, they are compatible with each other, which you wouldn't usually be able to put any other two inks together. Like any other ink brands, like you wouldn't want to put like a red and a black together because what could happen is that it could potentially just decide to start congealing into a glump of yuckiness yeah come kind of at the ink table at the dc pen shop oh yeah, well with yeah. the slime that was coming out of the bottle that the wasn't slime wasn't great no the slime wasn't good it did not good. look good so you guys do not want to do that yeah you don't want to you don't want to be mixing or or like doing anything like sneezing into your ink and whatnot because <laughs> that could uh develop into some gross stuff there and if you see something that's been opened you don't know if it's gonna, so you should be ready because you don't even know if it's gonna come out as a really big, like, moldy thing. Because it might be out for a really long time, so you don't want to do that. And, but, it's still okay because some inks don't really, aren't, aren't like, that old and they don't get that moldy. So that would be really good. Okay, so we have our Tomoe River paper here, and we're going to try out the uh, the mixture that we did here. And we're just gonna write. I'm just gonna write down the. I'm using a Summer. a dip nib pen here. Bye.
it does look like purple, although it's kind of like dark in here, especially I'm putting a lot of it on the paper. Let me just use my, um, let me use my brush. I could get a, a thinner coat of this ink on the paper here. Okay. Ooh, that looks awesome. That is very, I think very that nice. that is a little good, like very good. I think we don't really need it. That's a very nice purple. Yeah, I like that better than the better than the idea to add the smoke black. That would make it way darker. Well, I think for for demonstration purposes, we could use yeah. this as a base, and then we could put a we could put a black in it, see what happens. Yeah. And then we could also use the dilution um, liquid, and then and we then, could see what yeah. that what happens there. Okay, so, that's um, a good idea. One thing though is that we've already used both of our uh, iPads and they have ink in them. That's a little... So um, what I would say we should do is let's get a cup of water, especially I'll go since get I it. okay. All right, so we're just gonna clean this out. Oh, look at that reflection. The glass looks pretty. So let's do the red. Ooh, that look at that. pretty. Oh, that was cool. Just even like seeing them mixed together in the cup of water. It looks kind of like the... Look at that. That is cool. Wow. We'll do a drop of smoke black. It's a very, very little bit. Oh, ooh, ooh. didn't want to drop it. Didn't want to drop it. There we go. Six parts blue. Some. Six parts blue. It's a big bubble. It's a big bubble. It's a big bubble of ink. Get in there. Oh, and it explodes. That wasn't. That wasn't quite a drop. Let's get. Let's get a drop in there. Boop. Okay. So six parts blue. Four parts red. Alright, so just mixing this up. But do I, is it, like, did we do six parts blue? Or did you just write? Well, we did six drops. I just divided them into two just because it, it divided evenly into two. But now we do, now we did two, we did two drops of black. So technically now it's like, now it's like three parts blue. Three parts blue. Three parts blue, two parts red. And then one part black. I'm right out. Red ink. Let's see how this looks. And it's important to keep, I, uh, keep track of what the color mix is because if you want to recreate this, mm -hmm. Because let's say if you really want to go into full production of making a bottle of this with the platinum mix free inks, um, you would have to know, okay, well, if I'm doing this on a larger scale, how much am I putting in of this color? How much am I putting in this color? And then replicate that. And so make sure, and like by that, make sure you have the right tools to do sometimes oh oh look at that wow it's really cool so what do we add anything else to it you know i don't think we really need to but can we add some of this um well if we do then it goes in the opposite direction it starts to lighten up but let's do that for the second one let's do that for okay. the fall one because the fall are light colors they're yeah. Not, like dark colors. Yeah, this is like a dark this is like a nice dark, you know, dark. color on its own. It's on the darker side. The fall is nice and relaxing colors. Red we're gonna we'll do like a bright we wanna do like with like a reddish orange color. Yes. Like a gold like maybe like maybe even do like a little orange, bit like a golden. Yellow. Yeah, golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what reddish, orange, yellow. So this so this one we could yellow. call like um we could call a uh, dark violet. We could call it that. That's nice. I don't think it's going to have. I don't think it's going to have sheen. The gold. I was. I would love it if it had the gold sheen to it. Yeah. Maybe like. Is it like possible? 
Maybe if this would give it to me. If we put in sunny yellow. yellow, if we put in yellow to a violet, since they're um, complementing colors, what's going to happen is that it's probably going to turn like brownish. Oh. You know? Oh, I hate that. So they're on the opposite sides of the color wheel. So if you okay. had a color wheel and you looked at purple, yellow's on the way opposite side of it. So anytime that you add colors that are on the color wheel that are on the opposite sides, you're going to end up getting brown. So what we did here is we put the leftover. We put the leftover ink in a vial. We just transferred it, just poured it right out so that we could save it for later usage. Yeah. It's really not enough right now to be able to use it in a, in a fountain pen, to fill it in a fountain pen. Mm -hmm. maybe, be able to, maybe you could use like a syringe to, to, to you know, fill a converter with it possibly, but it's not really a lot of ink in here. So, but if you want to extrapolate to make a lot more ink if you want to make a full batch of it you could just multiply the recipe so, you would so like so like you know how we we make we, when we make like pancakes one, like two, three, if we're making pancakes pancake. for grandma and grandpa you have to do like we have to do like we have to do a lot more we have to do like let's say two or three times the normal batch so so like let's say for this if you want to make a full vial of it you would take then a lot more than just like a few drops per color. You would be multiplying that. But just to get the actual recipe down, you could just go with the individual drops, mm -hmm. mix it, and then test it out. All right, so let's make really quick, let's do what we were talking about with the autumn color. So uh, colors I would pick out, I would say like flame red, the sunny yellow, and yes. the pink. Yeah, maybe. What about brown? Brown's a nice color. But that would make it turn brown. I know. We could we could just maybe like we could do brown, but then we could pull it into being a a nice reddish so orange color. First. We could kind of mix all three of them together okay. and see what happens. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. And then we could use the dilution uh, fluid and then uh, see what that does. So. We could start, let's start with maybe like a little bit of brown, a little bit, because it's very, it's a very dense color. You can see it's more Not saturate. Much drops. Maybe, let's start with, let's do two. Let's do two drops of the brown. One, two, the rest of it out here. Okay. All right, so we'll do, we did two drops brown, and you're writing it down, awesome. And then we'll do, we'll go with the red. How much drops? I'll let you decide. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe like, a little bit like three. Because if we want this to be bright and fall color, we would want it to be a little bit bright. Okay, and so three. Do three. Yeah, we'll do three. One, two, three. Okay. All right, let's put that aside. Three parts red. Three parts red. You got it. Want to do two? One, two, or one? Two. Let's do two. Are you already coming up with a name for this one? Like, um, um, maybe, uh, apple season? Apple season. Okay. Just make sure our nib is completely washed out here. Oh, oh, we got put in the, we we're going to put this in too. The mixed free solvent, or you want to, you know what? Let's see what this looks like first, and, and then, then we'll do the mixed free. And then we'll we'll do, do the mix. solvent. Okay. All right. So let's mix it up. All right. Recorded down the colors. All right. So let's try this out here. This is. This is what you call apple season, right? Yes, apple, apple season. season.
Although, I'm kind of feeling the way that I see this color. I think it needs a little bit more red. Yeah. Do you think so? To be for for it to be like apple, I would say it needs to have like, like pumpkin season. It does have a fall feel. But it's it has a fall still feel. Not it kind of reminds me. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like uh, yeah, pumpkiny. Like yeah, it's got pumpkin a little. Ear. It got. Pumpkin. It has like a little bit of a pumpkin flavor to it. I think it needs more red. You know, or we could even do the pink. You want to do the pink? Yeah. Okay. Pink would make it look. It would make it look very relaxing. Yeah, we'll do we'll do some of the cyclamen pink. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking two parts. Yeah, two parts. We're doing two parts of the pink. And drop, drop. I think it's pretty helpful to have like a cup of water handy with this uh, with this whole mixing thing because then you could definitely clean off all of your pipettes and, mm -hmm. and testing instruments here to make sure that you're not mixing colors that you don't intend to mix together. Oh, why don't you show everybody your new journal? New journal. Just don't close it yet because it's still wet. And, and press the button. Okay. Yay. It's my letter. <laughs> All right, so now this is, this is apple season. Ooh, that's better. That's very better than last time. Cause it's very apple-y. Now I feel like it's apple. That's more like pumpkin season. That's Yeah, this has more season. of a peach look to it, but yeah. now that we added the, the pink, it- I think it looks awesome. That's nice. Look. Wow. Yeah, it has a it has a rosier complexion comparing it to the original one that we did because we added a lot more pink to yes. it. Yes. So this again, two parts brown, three parts red, two parts yellow, and then two parts pink to to give it that rosy look. Mm -hmm. And just to check it out, just because we needed to see what this okay. does. Let's use the dilution solution, the mix-free solvent, and we're going to do, we're just gonna compare and see what this actually does here. Now I'm gonna use only my iPad. One, two. We'll do like two parts, or you wanna do? Uh, three. Let's do three, okay. Three. Okay, so we did three parts with the mixing So what we can see here, so when we mixed the solvent, it had lightened the color up. Poppy's writing. Look, Poppy wrote. So we're just seeing how Whee! this looks here. It does lighten it up a smidgen, not as much as I was thinking it would be, but I mean, it, we only did do, what, three three uh, drops of it here. Look so let's see what it looks like. Puppy likes the color too. I know, Puppy likes the color too. She wrote awesome. <laughs> Possum. Possum. Wait, I should write Possum. P. Possum. Look, look at this. <laughs> All right, so that's well, that's uh, that's pretty much it, right? Like we yeah. we went through, we made a couple of awesome colors. I do like apple season a lot, although I probably would like between the original color and the one with the dilution liquid. I kind of like the original one a little bit better, 
Um, but it does it does allow you. It's just kind of for demonstration purposes. I wanted to show you how that works and uh, how you could be able to apply that to let's say make like a, a lighter, uh, you know, less saturated uh, color. Without. What we did today. What did we learn? We learned how to make our own mix-free ink. Yes, and we learned how to play around with colors and come up with our own color. And then we also learned how to make a color darker, which is called shading it. Mm -hmm. Then we also learned how to make a color lighter, which is called tinting it. Um, shading by using the, the smoke black color and then yeah. tinting it yeah. using the yeah. mixed free solvent. And important things to note, definitely keep track of all the drops or the parts that you put to each ink. That way you can replicate the results or go backwards and just start over from scratch, but know what you did before. And always you can save it using the uh, extra vial that we include or like a small plastic container that has can a I, screw top to it. Can I say one thing before, before we before we end the video. Okay. Have a possum day, everybody. Bye. <laughs> and also too, um, anybody who has like, who has the entire ink sample set from Platinum Mix Free from from InkJournal.com, one of our ink flight boxes last month. Uh, there's a contest where you guys can make your own ink and name it and share the recipe online. And uh, we'll pick, you know, we'll put together all the entries and then we'll pick somebody who, who wins, you know, be by popular vote and whatnot. And everybody then can go in and use those uh, inks to be able to replicate the same ink that they uh, see other people make. So it'd be pretty cool. So, um, you know, that's, that's it from all of us here at inkjournal.com. So we appreciate right. you watching the video and uh, hope that you have, guys have a great day. Take have care. Have an awesome day, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>